We're going to Yad Vashem. We're going to a remarkable ceremony for my wonderful grandmother and grandfather celebrating their work, saving so many people, some of whom we know and some we'll never know. I think it's an opportunity to awaken America to what's going on in the world today, particularly in places like Darfur, to say what we can do, you know? That's my hope. This is a remarkable photograph of the two of them. The day they sailed for Europe in 1939, so optimistic and excited. <laughs> They must have been very scared and very apprehensive to leave their children, too. I'm packing. It's not really uh, one of my favorite things to do. Um, but I will say it was uh, an interesting morning because I really thought about what um, Martha must have been thinking when she packed to uh, go to Czechoslovakia and then to France. Um, leaving behind her children, and uh, I think it's going to be an amazing trip. All I can hear in my mind is the question of um, where might I be packing to go to really help people. Uh, one wonders if you would leave behind your kids, if you'd go to Darfur or Rwanda or places like that when people really needed help. in face of the anti-Semitic atmosphere in the United States. One finds really astonishing that a man and a woman left their children in the United States, went to Europe to help children, Jewish children and others, to help children and to rescue them from the Nazi hell. They specifically left the comfort of uh, peaceful, small Massachusetts home in order to go into Europe on the verge of war, this is 1939, uh, in order to help get people out of there. We are gathered here in the Garden of the Righteous Among the Nations at Yad Vashem to award the title and medal of the Righteous Among the Nations to the late Wait Still and Martha Sharp, who risked their freedom to save Jews during the Holocaust. It should be noted that this title is the highest honor the State of Israel bestows on non-Jews in the name of the Jewish people. It is a singular honor for me and my family to represent my parents, Martha and Wait Still Sharp, as they are honored today as righteous among the nations. That we are here is a testament to the determination of a few people who would not allow the silt of time, so much a part of my life as an archaeologist, settle over the deeds and memories of Waitstill and Martha Sharp. We left Vienna when Hitler invaded Austria. I remember the day that they came and the sky was black with little airplanes. They were like flies over Vienna, the Nazi planes. And the streets were full of people yelling in approval. My father had to flee because he was a Jew. He was on a list to be arrested. And of course, people didn't recognize the fact that this was going to be so lethal for any Jew or anyone who opposed the Nazis. I remember my father coming home and banging on the floor with his cane 
and shouting in real rage. They have betrayed us. Chamberlain and the other Western powers who had sold off Czechoslovakia to Germany. I think initially Martha went to Europe because her husband wanted to go. Martha was upset, as was Wade still, because this wonderful democracy that they had valued was being destroyed. The Unitarian Church had established an outpost in Czechoslovakia. They had about 3,000 people in that church, so there was a, a connection. I remember that slowly all kinds of restrictions um, came upon the Jews. We were not allowed to be on the street after 8 o'clock. We couldn't go to parks. There were all kinds of signs, um, dogs, um, uh, gypsies and Jews. The entrance is forbidden. We could go to cinemas, etc., etc. said something that sticks in my mind as an expression of the motivation for what they did. While they were in Czechoslovakia, he wrote to the congregation about leaving New York Harbor and seeing the Statue of Liberty, and he called it a monument to an ideal. And then he told them, we live and work very much in its shadow. There was a sense of mission, a sense of helping others, of saving the world, really person at a time. These were tumultuous times. Uh, these were times where there was no guarantee for one's safety, even having an American citizenship but the shops took these risks upon themselves. There was an absolute prohibition in France on exit permits for people who were Germans or ex-Germans or ex-Austrians. And this is what created the tremendous need to find ways of getting people across the French-Spanish border.